let's write the equation of this rectangular hyperbola where we can see this is the y-axis, this is the x-axis. You got the vertical asymptote of x equal to 4. x equal to 4 is the vertical asymptote. Is the vertical asymptote. Now, one thing that you should understand is vertical asymptote is where the graph or the function is not defined. And y is equal to 2 is your horizontal asymptote. So these two are very vital information when you're writing equation of a hyperbola. Now a horizontal asymptote tells you uh, one thing that this, if you look at this branch of the graph, this is approaching 2 from above. So this will be all, this branch of the graph is always going to be above 2. And this branch, if you look at this branch, this branch is always going to be under 2. So it's either above 2 or less than 2. And the vertical asymptote, it tells you where the function is not defined. So let me write you, let me give you the general form of an uh, as, uh, hyperbola. So y is equal to a over x minus b always minus plus c now a is a constant a is a b c all are numbers now this is where you write the vertical asymptote or the value of the vertical asymptote vertical asymptote if you remember this you can write equation of any hyperbola and this is your horizontal asymptote. Horizontal asymptote and this is your vertical asymptote. So the equation would be like this y is equal to a over x x minus your vertical asymptote. Your vertical asymptote is 4 so x minus 4. So if you think in a logical way, x is, x cannot be 4. So if you put, in other words, when you put 4, the denominator will become 0. So if you don't understand that maths, you have to just put your vertical asymptote and horizontal asymptote in this form. A over x minus b, where b is the vertical asymptote, whatever that asymptote is, plus your horizontal asymptote, which is 2. And now you have to find out a by plugging in this value. So, well, we know when x is, this point tells me, what is this point telling me? When x is phi, when x is phi, y is equal to negative 1. So, I'm going to plug in, plug this value in this equation. So, negative 1 is equal to a over 5 minus 4 is going to be 1 plus 2. So this is a simple linear equation. So negative 1 is equal to a plus 2. Now taking away 2 from both sides, this implies a has to be negative 3. And that's all. And of course we need to confirm whether the equation is right. So the equation would look like this. So let me write it again here. So y is equal to negative 3 or minus 3 over x minus 4 plus 2. Just like that. And we need to confirm. Okay, so this is my graph. I saw a graphic calculator. Go to graph and type in the equation minus 3 divided by bracket x minus 4 close bracket plus 2. Okay, let me make it standard 10 by 10. And this is what we want to confirm. We want to confirm when x is, when x is 5, y should be negative 1. So how will we do that? Just solve uh, y calc when x is 5, x is negative 1. Okay, and uh, we can confirm when x is 4, 
it will be error. Okay, so if you go y calc when x is 4, it's an error. Okay, so that means when x is 4, it is undefined, and that's that's the vertical asymptote. And let me also understand, explain when x is approaching. If you go, if you, if x is say negative uh, negative 10, y will be above 10. Sorry, above 2. Sorry. So if you go y calc when x is say minus minus 8 is slightly 2.25 okay so let me show you one more so let's go up to say from minus 50 to plus 50 scale of phi so the graph is like this can you see it also tells you the vertical asymptote here so let me show you y calc when x is minus 35 it will be about 2 2.07 so this is never going to be Two, it will be about 2 when x is negative to this side and it will be on this branch it will always be under 2 so let's if you go say if you let's go let me explain y calc when x is say 10 it will be less than 2 1.5 so always going to be less than 2 and as you approach infinity it will be uh, 1.99 so let me show you one more thing just solve y calc let me make it 25 can you say it's 1.85 so as x approaches positive infinity this will be slightly less than 2 and x as x approaches negative infinity it will be about 2 okay so one more equation so here you got your vertical asymptote so your vertical asymptote, vertical asymptote is x is equal to 3 and your horizontal asymptote, horizontal asymptote is what? y is equal to 1. So we can directly write the equation y is equal to a over x minus the vertical asymptote so minus 3 plus 1 just like that and we have got this point when x is 4 when x is 4 y is equal to 3 y is equal to 3 so let's put that here so this implies y is 3 so 3 is equal to a over 4 minus 3 is again 1 plus 1 so 3 is equal to a plus 1 which implies a is equal to a is equal to 2 so we can say the equation is going to be y is equal to 2 over x minus 3 plus 1 okay so let me get my calculator so let me delete let me make the scale 10 by 10 and then delete this and type in the equation 2 divided by x minus 3 close the bracket uh, plus 1 uh, plus yeah plus 1 that's right and then draw the graph here we go and we need to confirm this point when x is 4 y should be 3 y calc when x is 4 y is 3 so this is the way in which you can write the equation so basically the general form let me repeat the general form is y is equal to a divided by x minus your vertical asymptote vertical asymptote which will be in terms of this is good to remember the vertical asymptote will be in terms of x whatever that x value is it right here the vertical asymptote plus this can be plus or minus your horizontal asymptote 
your horizontal asymptote and then of course you there would be one point you have to plug in that point in this equation and get the value of a